Ladies and gentlemen, this is your fellow skeptic and in this video we are going to break down a topic which is the urgent need of the earth. Why do Indians face racism in South Korea? So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Recently I've been seeing a lot of newspaper articles and YouTube videos popping up about Indians and uh, Pakistanis facing racism in South Korea. India is one of the biggest audiences of South Korean pop culture including K-drama, K-pop and yes the South Korean boy band BTS. And I can definitely confirm this because there are people in my family circle and friends circle who actually are nuts about BTS and K-drama and K-pop. The widespread of these newspaper articles and YouTube videos popping up about people facing racism in South Korea has led to a lot of Koreans coming forward and defending their stand on all these. I have seen Koreans in Reddit commenting that these instances of racism are very rare, it's not very common. So let's get to the bottom of these newspaper articles and YouTube videos and figure out the truth about Indians facing racism in South Korea. South Korea is an eastern nation on the southern half of Korean Peninsula with a population of about 51.5 million. South Korea is a fully developed country with a high literacy rate. South Korea has a 97.97 percentage in their literacy rate and has a very powerful economy. The South Korean economy is considered the fourth largest in Asia and twelfth largest in all over the world. Could it be possible that such a developed and literate country like South Korea is responsible for several allegations of racism of Indians and Pakistanis and so on? If it is so, then why? Let's look at what some Indians who have lived in South Korea has to say about their experiences. Have you ever faced any form or type of racism or discrimination while living in Korea? When we go for shopping, uh, when we take look at the dresses and all, then they be like. They come very fast, like they'll be sitting and relaxing. They just come dash out and they're like, dust it. Some Korean guy coming off and dusting off things, it's not that bad, right? It might have been a unique incident. It's not. The next one is really bad. So it was like a bright, sunny morning and it was in a bus stop. Like some random uh, Korean middle-aged person, he just approached me and he was like, who, where are you from? Like just, just another Korean person, I thought. So he said, where are you from and everything. I said, I'm from India. And uh, he was like really talking nice with me and suddenly he started like... Uh, um, uh, he tried to like hug me and stuff like that and he said uh, you people come here like to study and like work and later you, you just want to get married to a Korean and settle in Korea so is it okay if I just you know touch you or something like that. That was one uh, experience uh, that I can never forget till date. And these are just not two incidences. There are a huge number of videos and interviews of people who have been to South Korea facing little nuggets of racism here and there. I just showed two of them as examples. The picture I'm showing right now is a poster that is put in front of certain Korean shops that prevents Indians and Pakistanis from entering these shops and the government doesn't do anything much about it. This behavior is kind of starting to be normalized in South Korea which is very disappointing. This issue started casting a little bit of a heat. One of the Indian native bloggers in South Korea decided to visit a club with some of his friends. This was one of the first times he has visited a South Korean club and things did not really go the way that they planned. It's a rule. It's a racism. Yes, yes. When he and his friends went to the first club, the guard or the bouncer who was standing in front of the club uh, asked them not to go into the club. When he went to the next club, the experience was way more brutal. At the next club, the person who was in front of the club simply showed them away by giving them a hand sign. What is the difference? What is the difference? You can check out his channel. I'll put a link to his channel, Subtle Korea, in the description below. He had made a whole video regarding racism in South Korea situation. The news article that you're seeing right now is a South Korean restaurant that does not allow Indians to be in the restaurant or dine in the restaurant. And this is in South Korea, right? Wrong. This is actually in India. As a matter of fact, it is in Andhra Pradesh where it does not let any Indian people dine in there. The staff claims it is just for South Koreans. A journalist who tried to dine in there had the following thing to say, quote, When I went there, they said that the restaurant is not open for Indians. They have put up posters as well. I'll put a link to where I got this article from as well. You can check it down in the description. People face racism in different ways. It might not necessarily be direct. You can look at this interview where this girl who has been living in South Korea had faced an indirect form of racism. And this was not a rare instance for her. It happened on a regular basis. For example, if I'm sitting in a bus or subway, in case I get on a subway, I sit somewhere. Yeah. So person besides me will get up and sit, go sit somewhere. So Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, so, and it has yeah. happened to me so many times that now I'm used to it. Instances of racism are not specific to Indian. We can take an example of this video. Have you experienced any racism in Korea? Yes, but honestly, what what's kind of like sad is that I've gone to many countries. Yeah. Almost every country does it. Oh. Yeah. Can you tell me any experience? Yeah, um, I think that sometimes it's not just because I'm black, but I think also um, they think like, oh, maybe they don't speak Korean or something. So they say like, oh, like no foreigners or... Okay, so is the racism just about color? Are the dark skinned people facing racism in South Korea and all the white skinned people, irrespective of where they're from, get away from it? Not exactly. I think this is where Americans don't know how other countries are so racist. Mm, <laughs> how exceptional is, America is. Yeah. yeah, in South Korea, they discriminate, literally, all the people come from poor countries. Mm. That includes, I'm so sorry, India, United Philippines, sorry. Thailand, yeah. Vietnam, and North Korea too, we are very poor. Yeah. And they look up to people coming from the Western European countries who are white. Um. And so... Yeah, even though we speak the same language, we have the same genetics, same history, we are same Korean, they just discriminate us because we are coming from a poor country. Now, all of this comes down to this single question that we have to answer. Why? Let's dig a little bit deeper and find out the root cause. There are a few reasons for this. One of the major reasons, because of the misconceptions and false content. Even though Korea is a very literate country, a lot of native South Koreans still live in their shell. A lot of countries, not just South Koreans, have this lack of exposure towards countries like India, which would lead to a lot of stereotypes. Oh, yes, 많이 나오는 것 같아요. 어떤 안 좋은 것들이 있을까요? 좀 더럽다라든지 아니면 뭐좀 남녀 차별 이심하다라든지 그런 식의 네. 크게 별로 신경은 안쓸것 같은데 그냥 머릿속에 이제 고정관념이 박혀 있는 인식이 약간 그런 부분이지 않을까? This is not the case for all the Koreans. There are Koreans who do enjoy a little bit of Indian culture. For example, there's this guy who does love three idiots. 세월간이라는 영화를 너무 재밌게 봐가지고 근데 인도라는 그런 문화 자체를 잘 보여주면서 엉뚱하게 어, 재밌게 이렇게 좀 뽑아내신 것 같아가지고 어, 인도 좀 유쾌하게 좀 재밌는 나라다. And there are cultural issues in certain parts of India where the behavior of certain people might not be considered the best. Let's take this certain article for example. Here a man is arrested for behaving inappropriately towards a Korean vlogger and based on what she said in her video, quote, I have to run from here, they really like to hug. This in turn created a lot of public outrage and further leading to the arrest of this guy. Even though these kind of incidents are rare, it is still there, which is a matter of great disappointment. You know what happens when a country gets really high literacy rate? There is a very high likelihood that people who are seeking blue collar jobs will go down. So most people who are coming out of colleges with very high level of education would most likely not want to do a blue collar job. So this unemployment in blue collar jobs can actually disrupt their economy in a great extent, which is why China packed with India to source skilled manpower and open doors for blue collar workers. And based on this news article, there's a demand for skilled Skilled and low skilled workers in agriculture, manufacturing, construction, waste disposal, meat transportation, cargo handling, and housekeeping sectors in Korea. Because of this, a lot of native South Koreans see Indians who are coming there to do blue collar jobs, which will create a false perception in their head that most of the Indians who are coming over there might not necessarily be educated, they're not qualified to do the white collar jobs. As said in this newspaper article, quote, with younger South Koreans reluctant to take up blue collar jobs, the industrial and farming sectors of Asia's fourth largest economy are struggling to fill vacancies. Reason number two, pretty privilege. South Korea is considered to be one of the most notorious countries in terms of pretty privilege and beauty standards. Couple of people I know who have visited South Korea mentioned to me that most of the billboards that you see there in South Korea is predominantly on beauty products or based on plastic surgeries. Based on this article in Medium, it can be seen that in South Korea, the beauty standards are very necessary for employment side as well. Quote, the heavy emphasis on physical appearance in South Korean society has influenced how people are perceived in everyday life. Generally, those who are perceived to be conventionally pretty or handsome can access better opportunities, especially in terms of employment. There are some of the articles which even suggest that parents give the uh, plastic surgery funds to their kids after graduation as a gift. One of the articles published in the Los Angeles Times mentions about one of the stories of an applicant who had to be attractive 
to stay relevant in the hyper competitive market when she submitted her resume to her employer she was rejected because the person in the photo in the resume did not look like her some of the south korean job listings mandate the applicants to attach their photographs one of the advertisements that i find really interesting is that it suggests seek up as the ideal bra size for a female candidate to apply for a certain job a lot of the most popular k-pop idols that you see have mainly thrived at the initial stages of social media because of their looks at a certain point in my life i used to think that lack of education was a reason which led to things like pretty privileges and stereotypes based on color we can clearly see it is not i could think of certain instances where i was given more preferences because i was a little more studious and i looked a little more white so there are instances where people who are prettier than me had been given more privileges so we cannot say that this behavior is not common but the issue is that when this becomes a standard when this becomes normalized that is a problem the problem that is happening in south korea right now at the moment this it has become normalized so much that it is not even considered an offense and i have mentioned in the beginning of this video that a lot of koreans came up and defended their stand that uh, these incidents are rare as we have seen that it is not rare it's very common in south korea is it also there in other countries as well there are a lot of asian countries where this pretty privilege is very predominant there's a place called little india in singapore where blue collar workers from india who are poor and who did not match the socio economic standards of the singaporeans then a lot of natives who are living in singapore does not like little india for valid reasons of course the crime rates in little india are higher than what you can see in the rest of singapore so it is true that there is a cultural thing which is causing some of these misconceptions to happen the reason why it cannot be justified is because you are normalizing a standard like that you are making an assumption about a whole nation based on certain things and there is no denying that people of color or indians or pakistanis face racism in south korea maybe not all koreans are responsible for this there are korean people who does understand the culture and does have enough exposure to get the whole picture and no bts is definitely for responsible for this maybe some have even taken steps to prevent racism on that regard but it is widely there and prevalent but the one thing that you have to notice that when you are giving so much love to korean pop culture and that you are living in a country like india if you go to south korea there is a good possibility you will probably face racism especially if you are someone of color standardizing or normalizing this kind of racist behavior and pretty privilege has to be stopped and people have to be made aware and educated about other countries and their standards their cultures so that they will be more welcoming of other people now we have also seen the other side of issue where indians acting hostile towards people of other nationality or even people of other caste or culture please comment down in the comment section about some of the future videos that you would like to see in this channel and i would highly recommend you share this video to some of your friends who are actually a part of the bts army or korean pop culture so that just that they are aware about all these things which are happening thank you so much for sticking with me throughout the video i really appreciate your time hit that notification bell and the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up and let youtube you know you like what you're watching so that they would promote my content thank you so much i'll see you guys next video bye bye